Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you this morning from the northeast of Scotland. Now, yesterday, with my previous review, I told you guys that it was absolutely pelting with snow. Well, today it is absolutely glorious outside with beautiful sunshine. Uh, welcome to the Scottish weather. <laughs> Anyway, onto the coffee for uh, I'm going to be reviewing this morning. So today we're going to be looking at a UK-based uh, coffee company called Horsham Coffee Roasters. And as you can see by the packaging, this is um, a Costa Rican, Santa Fe, and it's a geisha. Um, so I'll just read a little bit of the description. So the Santa Fe wet and dry mill is owned by... Ivan Solis and his wife and three children. The mill was founded in 2017 and set up to support local speciality coffee producers. This geisha micro lot comes from several local farms. So I'm just going to read the actual tasting notes. So we love the complex fruity notes that include red berries, apple and floral aromas. So there you go. A nice description of the beans. So um, Horsham is a is a coffee a coffee roaster I've used in the past. Um, I've been happy with all the beans that they produce generally. Um, this particular offering for them is a little bit more expensive than their um, standard offerings. Um, unfortunately, it's sold out. Um, so there's no there's no way to get these beans again. Unfortunately, unless they bring it out again. But I'll go into price in a bit. Um, so what I've done is I've weighed out the 18 grams of beans. So what we'll do just uh, just now is just go to the, the niche and take a look at the beans. Okay guys, so that's us back up top looking at the beans in the niche. So as you can see, um, I would suggest that the, the beans are medium roasted, maybe medium to light. And I have the dial in the niche set at 12. Uh, this one's been a little bit of a faff to dial in, but I'm hoping that 12 will get us a good shot Good consistent shot. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. So let's go on to the grind then, shall we? Okay guys, so welcome back. Um, that's, us, uh, that's us back now at the Pure Sticker. So the Pure Sticker is sitting at 94 degrees Celsius. The group head is very, very hot. Um, so let's see what we get then, shall we? We're aiming for um, 36 grams out um, within 25 to 30 seconds, give or take. Um, and as I said, the dial on niche is at 12. So let's see what we let's let's see what sort of shot we get. Okay, so that's the shot done. So I must say I'm fairly pleased with uh, the basic ratios on that one. So 36.8 grams, and that was in 29 seconds. So overall, I think I'm quite happy with the timing of that shot. Um, as you can see, a little bit of chroma on this one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just let this espresso cool off a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna pause here and we'll be back in a moment, okay? Hey okay, guys, so welcome back. Um, so we've uh, got the shot now in front of us here. As I said earlier, just a, a little bit of crema. Anyway, on to the tasting notes. Let's see what we get. Oh, specifically on the nose first. Right, so... Yeah, so definitely floral aromas. There's fruits there. Does smell quite delicate actually. Ah, there's some apple as well. Just a nice fruity nose, this one. Alright, on to the taste. First sip. 
Mm. So that's quite a bold, powerful, powerful palette. Yet very silky smooth on the palette as well. And down the throat, quite oily. Mmm, that is lovely. So I'm getting, I'm getting um, fruits up front. Um, I would say there's some strawberry there. There's some sweetness as well coming through. Um, there's some acidity that play as well. That balances quite nicely with that sweetness you're getting. I wouldn't say I'm getting as many floral notes as I got on the nose. But let's go in for a second sip and see what we get. Mm. Cup is very clean. There's that acidity again coming in. Some citrus, some oranges. Sweetness coming through again. I'm um, getting that red, the red berries that they mentioned in the notes, and I'm starting to get that. It's almost like, almost, um, I think I'm getting maybe even black currant on this one as well. So there's definitely more citrus kick in this one with the sweetness. Although I would say this is stronger with the citrus notes and the acidic notes. But that sweetness still comes in and cuts through quite nicely. Um, it's really, really good. Um, I would say it's, 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 I would say it's excellent. Um, as a score, um, I don't know, as I say, I'm not really getting any chocolate notes on this one. This is all fruits for me anyway, which is not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Score-wise, I would probably give this, I would say about an eight and a half out of ten. I would say that compared to the Kelowna Geisha, I would say that this one is just as good. Um, I can't say it's blowing me away. Um... The La Cabra that I did yesterday um, had a lot more sweetness running through it. And I think I'm more of a fan of that sweetness with the acidity, but the sweetness cutting through a bit more on the acidity. Not that I don't mind the acidity. I think the clean acidity is a wonderful thing. But I think that the sweetness um, adds a, adds a more, more of a layer to it as well. There is some sweetness here, but it's definitely more... Um, more citrus lead, more citrus fruit lead than anything else. It's still very good though. Um, price comparison. So, um, as I say, this was sold out. I actually got this as a Costa Rican tasting pack from Horsham for £24. So I think this, this bag of beans is, was approximately about £14. So the geisha that you get from, that I got from Kelowna was £22. So, um, quite a jump up in price from from this one so i think this one was actually quite good value for money to be honest um at, at 14 pounds i thought it was excellent value for money unfortunately you can't get it anymore like with uh like with coffee like lots of things with coffee they just sell out and you don't know when you're going to get another batch so i don't know if horsham will get another batch of this but uh i guess we'll just have to wait and see anyway um overall excellent quality um, that I would expect from Horsham Coffee Roasters. Um, maybe not, just not quite my, not, not entirely my style, I think, that I, I prefer. Um, as I said, I think I prefer more sweetness with a bit of acidity rather than a strong acidity with less sweetness. But that's just my personal opinion. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, I noticed there were a couple of more subscribers to the channel, so welcome to the channel and leave a comment if you wish. Um, I want this channel to be a place where people can just talk about coffee and we can um, get ideas and get thoughts on coffee, etc. So, yeah, your comments are always appreciated. Um, but anyway, take care, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Um, I might do a late, uh, another coffee review in a bit.
so watch out for that but either way take care guys and have a great day cheers